Hi Sky people, today we are doing a super exciting video. We are reviewing Sheer Tux tights. Now, I know if you're a girly watching me, you have heard of Sheer Tux tights. They've popped up on your Instagram ads, your Instagram feed, and all that jazz. And today, we are reviewing them. It's gonna be a three-part video. So first, I want to review the tights. My amazing sister, got me two different pairs of sheer text tights for Christmas this year and I had seen them and as a flight attendant I have to wear tights with my uniform depending on what pieces I wear pretty much every single time I work so for me like tights is something that is a part of my everyday wardrobe and for some people it's not so I figured if anyone's gonna be an expert on durability of tights it's gonna be a flight attendant so if you're interested if your feed has been inundated with this brand sheer Tux, and their tights that are apparently uh, rip resistant is what they're calling it and if you're curious then keep on watching it's gonna be a three-part video so the first part of this video is going to be the sheer text review my sheer text review itself and then the second part of the review review is going to be a comparison so i'm going to compare the sheer text tights to the tights that i traditionally have always worn when i'm flying um, i alternate between two different styles and then the third part of the video is going to be a wear test so i'm going to take the sheer text tights on a three-day trip and I'm gonna let you guys know how they do as compared to uh, my regular flying tights that I wear when I fly. So if you're interested, keep on watching. So for part one of the video, the review itself, I have two different pairs of the sheer text tights that I'm going to review for you guys. And this part of the review is mostly going to be first impressions until the later part of the video, which is the wear test. So for now, um, I have the the classic sheer rip resistant tight in the nude shade the nude sheer rip resistant tight which i believe is their classic tight and i have these in um the color n4 which i think is their light medium shade and in the size large and then the second pair that i have are the nude super sheer rip resistant tights and I'm just reading the back of the boxes here. Um, same color, the light medium, the N4, and again, in a size large. For this review, I'm gonna put it into like five different categories. The first being price. The second being what I perceive as the quality of the tights. Um, third will be the washability and like the laundering aspect of the tights. Fourth will be the actual durability and the rip resistance of the tights. And then lastly, the fifth category will be the comfort level when wearing the tights. I also want to show you guys the tights with heels because I'm a flight attendant and traditionally we are wearing heels when we fly. So these are the shoe, the heels that I'm normally flying in for reference. I wear this one Navy Mary Jane that's about a two and a half inch heel and then this other kind of loafer style heel that's another two and a half inches. Um, oops. Both of the bottoms have a lot of traction on them and um, you can kind of see the somewhat foamy interiors of both shoes. So um, for the sake of consistency, I'm going to be showing you guys the try-on with the review with um, a pair of black heels on just to keep it all consistent. First, we're going to review the Nude Super Sheer Rip Resistant Tights. They are, again, whoops, again in the shade N4, which is the light medium shade. This is what they look like after they've been laundered once. I've washed these one time. Uh, they claim to be... Um, washer dryer friendly as long as it's on a cold setting in the wash and um, just like a gentle cycle and then also they are okay to put in the, they claim to be okay to be put in the dryer on a gentle low setting and I would recommend putting them in a, in a small like garment delicates bag as well. So this is um, th what they look like. They have this really interesting kind of lime green band across the uh, the bottom portion of the pelvis area and then this is all like tummy coverage up here it has a really interesting design on the 
pelvic area in the gusset where if I pull this, you can kind of see there's extra material near the seams, which I think might be part of the technology, I'll call it, behind the rip resistance because these are very enforced seams. Like, I don't know, dif uh, I don't know what to call different kinds of uh, sewing patterns, but you can see this seam is like very well enforced. Um, here's the gusset. There's lots of extra fabric right there, which is really nice. And then all the way down the length to the toes, the toe portion is just a small seam right there. So, oh, also worth noting on both sides of the waistband is the actual branding of the sheer text. It's probably backwards, but it says sheer text on the side. I'm going to put these on real quick and I will show you guys what they look like. For the first category, price. These tights are so expensive. I'm on the sheer text website right now and I don't know if my sister got these on a special deal, but these tights are listed right now for $99 for one pair. One pair of tights, $99. That's just crazy to me personally. Like, it's, especially because I'm someone who is like going through tights all the time with work. So I'm gonna give these a one star, one star out of five for price alone because $99 for a pair of tights, I'm sorry, but that's just, that's just not gonna cut it. Like. If they had a sale, which I don't know, like maybe there's 10% offs, but even still like 80 something dollars for tights, I just personally plus shipping, like I wouldn't do it. Um, and that's the price off of Sheer Texas website. Um, and that also goes for the other pair of tights, the classic Sheer and the Super Sheers. They are both listed for $99. So for price, they're gonna get a one star. Okay, moving on to category two, which is quality of the tights. I will say that I do feel like these tights are very good quality. And I want to say that first because when I opened them out of the packaging and went to put them on for the very first time, um, if you wear tights a lot, you know how you kind of have to like, like kind of like mold them to your legs. And maybe it's just because like I'm a more leggy girl, but. I have a lot of real estate that's got to be covered down there and so for me like I noticed that these tights really glided up my legs pretty quickly I didn't have to do the whole little song and dance of back and forth seesawing the tights on which was a um, big relief for me um another thing I noticed is like the slickness of these tights and what I mean by that is like I notice when my legs kind of rub together there's a little bit of friction there, but in a good way, like a little bit of friction where I can tell there's like extra material there that's got some kind of coating on it. And I'm assuming it's the rip resistant coating, keeping them in place. And so for me, I will say that quality wise, I'm going to give them a five. I do think these are very high quality tights. Um, because I don't want to show like too much skin in the video, I'm not going to show like my tummy area with the waistband just because I'm not comfortable with that. But um, I will say these are very high quality in the um, more fabricy part of the waistband as well. I noticed that um, they're not compressive and I am used to compressive tights. So if you don't like compression, these tights might be really good for you. They have zero compression in the legs. And I don't know if you saw in the little try on video, but I was able to grip a few portions of the tights without, and I have nails, I have nails. I was able to grip some portions without putting runs in the tights. On to category number three, which is washability. Um, I have washed these once, so I don't think that's enough time to give a true rating, but on first impressions alone, I will give them five stars for washability. As long as you follow the directions, which they recommend doing a cold setting with like colors and keeping them in a delicates bag in both the washer and the dryer, I think you'll be fine. Um, I put my the super sheer version of the tights, I put those in the dryer 
on a uh, gentle like low setting they've come out just fine and I really like putting my tights back in the dryer on a low setting because I notice as I wear them multiple times a day during the week they just stretch out so I like them to kind of bounce back so I will give them five stars for washability okay next is category number four which is durability and rip resistance so okay you know I was a marketing major and so if you're gonna claim to be rip resist rip resistant then you better put in the work and be damn sure that that's true because uh, I'm gonna be a tough critic here so I will say that with my job I'm surrounded by pointy objects in galleys on airplanes lots of metal all the time so especially in my jump seat, there's lots of sharp edges and you know, you're constantly sitting in your jump seat at a 90 degree angle or you're up and about moving carts, configuring things, you're squatting, you're bending, you're doing all these things, bumping elbows with people and their laptops. I'm around very sharp objects all day. And I will say that after, okay, spoiler alert, but I already wore the super sheer tights. I already wore them on a three day trip and let me tell you i already have a run in the tights and this was one three-day trip and i don't know if you're gonna be able to see it but it is on my knee let's see if i can find it there's a little run right here and there's also a little run like somewhere right along my knee and for me i don't think that I will say that I don't think that these tights are going to run like all the way down your leg. Like, you know, when a run starts, it's dangerous territory and you want to put like clear polish on it to stop it and keep it together. I don't think that the runs are going to spread in these tights. So they get a couple brownie points for that, but they still have a couple of runs in them. And I wore them on one three day trip, which was about like 15 hours worth of flying and 15 hours worth of wearing them. So... On the durability front, I think it is too soon to tell because I only wore them on one trip, but considering that they already are taking some damage, I'm going to give them four stars. I don't think the runs are going to spread any further, but regardless, I still have some runs in the tights that claim to be rip resistant. So, and I can't tell you how I got those runs, to be fair. Like, I, I don't know. It's just part of the job. So... Um, I can't tell you when they happened, but they did happen at some point. So I'm going to give them four stars out of five for that one. And the last category, comfortability. Okay, easy. I'm going to give them five stars on comfortability. These tights are very comfortable. If you want something that kind of feels like a second skin as a tight, then these are definitely for you. They are not compressive. There's wiggle room in the waist area. And for me, that, that can be important. I usually do wear more compressive items when I'm flying. Um, but if you don't like something pressing on your stomach area or your thighs or shaping or anything like that, um, then you you would like this classic pair. They do have shapewear style tights on their website. So if you're more interested in that, they do have those. But that wraps up my review for the super shears. And hopefully you got to see in the try on video that they are definitely super sheer. So that is definitely marketed correctly. Um, so I'm gonna quickly swap, swap out into the nude, just the regular shears, not the super shears. And I'm gonna quickly go over the same five categories and I'll be right back. I figure since I haven't opened this box yet, we can just unbox it together. Once again, these are the sheer classic rip resistant tights. So on the back side, you'll see your sizing and your color, and then you open up the bottom and they come out like this. And they're super flat and nice. And the second you wash them, they will never look the same. <laughs> Um, but they are interesting. It comes with this paper backing. One side is French and then the other side is English and it tells you they are 54% nylon, 31% polyethylene, and then 15% spandex. It says wash with light colors in cold water, wash in wash bag, dryer allowed with wash bag on low or air dry. These do not come with a wash bag, so I would recommend having one because, I mean, unless they do a deal or something that includes one, mine did not come with a wash bag. So once again, here's the waistband, and it is really soft. Like, I'm talking like, this is like Lululemon level soft waistband kind of fabric. Um, again, with the lime green branding, I guess. Um, same here with the crotch gusset, you can see 
the reinforcement and the extra material to keep the tights, I'm assuming keeping them together. And then these ones look really short because I haven't tried them on yet. <laughs> the little toe, toe areas. I will say a big tell for if tights are gonna be good or not is how well they wear in your toes. And if you're a flight attendant, you know how often you'll get like runs in your tights that are by your toes. So you always have to keep your nails clipped and make sure that your shoes are supportive because if you're in your heels and your toes are like digging into the fronts of your shoes just because of gravity and things like that, you're gonna notice more runs in the toes. So I'm gonna try these on real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, hopefully you get a good view of what the classic shears look like right here. They look honestly almost identical to the super shears, but I will say there's definitely a lesser degree of sheerness. So um, if you want something that's gonna show off a little skin, but not maybe every single line and crevice, go for the shears. I'm someone who also wears opaque tights, so I'm completely fine with having complete coverage, especially when I'm flying in the winter time and I have to wear tights. I prefer an opaque, completely like full coverage tight. Um, but that's mostly just to keep some material on my legs so I don't get too cold on the plane. Going over the same five categories, but for the classic sheer tight, um, the first being price, I'm gonna give it the one star out of five stars again, because once again, these are 99, these are $100 tights, like, come on guys. $100, I've worn them on a 15 hours and I already have runs in them, or small, slight runs, but still, one star. Next for the quality, I will say, same as before, I think they are very high quality, so um, I will give them five stars for the quality for sure. Third category is the washability. Okay, I can't rate this one yet because I haven't washed the classic pair yet, so TBD on that one. But just to keep things even, I'm going to give it just the same rating as before on the super shears. And lastly, or sorry, category number four, the durability and the rip resistance. Again, I can't really tell because it's a first impression, so I wanna stick with my rating on the super shears. However, since it's less sheer, there's gonna be more material, therefore it should be more durable. Should, should be more durable. I will say when I first put on both of these pairs of tights, um, it's interesting because I'm a little bit on the taller side. I'm 5'8", but I'm kind of like equally torso to legs. Like I don't have very particularly long legs, and with, even with these tights, I think they just need time to stretch out because when I pull them on the first time, I noticed that like the crotch area is like sitting on my mid thigh and I'm like, obviously that's like not where it needs to be. And there's, you're kind of doing that song and dance of pulling it up to get the crotch to line up with your anatomy. So there was a little bit of that on these, on this classic pair that um, I'm like, oh yes, the torture that is putting on tights is come back. Um, anyways, so for the durability rip resistance, uh, I want to say like TBD on that one. I'm going to give it the same rating as I gave the first pair just for sake of consistency because I would have to do a proper wear test to know for sure. I would argue that the, the classic pair would be more rip resistant than the super shears though, just given the fact that it's going to have more material to it. Last category is the comfortability. I'm gonna give it five out of five stars, same as before, because these do feel like comfortable tights. Um, definitely not docking them on that. I think the color is, I should mention the colored match as well. The color match looks, in my opinion, very similar in skin tone to myself. So um, I, I do think it could have more color options for sure. So that's gonna wrap up part one of the Sheer Text tights review, the review itself. And so now we're going to move on to part two, which is comparing it to the tights that I actually fly in all the time. Okay, so for part two, we are going to be comparing the sheer text tights to a few different pairs of tights that I fly in all the time. My first pair being, and I'm giving away all my flight attendant secrets here, so if you want good recommendations for tights, then keep watching, because my first pair that I fly in 90% of the time are my Capizio, Yes, and if you're a dancer, you know Capizio. My Capizio dance tights, which are the Capizio Ultra Soft Transition tights. Um, this is a full length tight. I wear the one that has the opening on the foot area. So on the bottom of your foot, you can slide your foot in and out 
And for me, this is essential because when I get to my hotel room and I want my feet to breathe and I don't have a minute to change quite yet and I don't wanna put more pressure on the toe area, then I take my feet out. So I like these kinds of tights. They're different. I know not most people I fly with don't wear tights like these, but if you like a compressive waistband, and this waistband is compressive on dance tights, that's for sure. These dance tights might be for you then. Because for me, I wear dance tights because they are literally designed for movement. And obviously when I'm flying, I am constantly moving. So I like just the structure of these. I think they're well-designed tight. Um, I get mine usually on Amazon. They're usually between 15 to like $18. I think right now these are $17 for one pair and they have a decent shade selection for matching your skin tone and i do like that i can take pop my foot in and out as i please and they're super flexible and durable like these tights last me easily two to three months of flying with one pair i will say though i do have runs in mine in the toes like i was talking about due to my heels um so they're not immune to the damage i put them through but that is the first comparison. So for my next comparison, when I'm wearing pants, I don't wear a full length tight. I just wear knee highs and I get my knee highs on Amazon. Um, these were $8.99. So I'm going to already give these five stars on price. Um, these are the true form sheer compression stockings and they're a knee high length. So these are the little foot parts and then the knee has got the compression. I do like these because I do notice a difference in not so much like feet swelling. My feet don't really swell when I fly, but I do know some people who experience that. But for me, I just like a light compression because I notice my legs are less tired at the end of the day. Like leg fatigue is a thing. And if you fly a lot, your legs do get tired. I like wearing these with the pants because I don't have to commit to a full full length tight especially when you're using the bathroom it's just less headache so depending on what uniform i'm wearing i'll wear these um durability on these honestly five stars out of five because the toe area is like a little bit of like a mesh and it's very light and i have had zero runs in these so far and they're just like a slightly different material from your traditional tight. And whatever it is, it's working. And these are amazing. They're very durable. Um, so that's my second comparison. And I will leave links to unaffiliated links, just links that I, the things, the tights I purchased on Amazon, I will leave them below the Capizio and the True Form. Lastly, and this is exciting because I just got these in. So. I have been waiting for this package to arrive at my doorstep for three months. I'm not even kidding you, like three months. Um, so with my company, um, they supply us, you have to request it and order them yourself and go through your insurance, but you do get um, medical grade compression tights and um, the compression level is this 15 to 20, it's gonna be backwards, I apologize. 15 to 20 MMHG, which don't ask me what that stands for, but I do know that my knee highs are 15 to 20 MMHG. And so it'll be the same level of compression. These I will have to do a follow-up video on because I have obviously not opened the boxes yet. I will put them on quickly to do a quick try on because I do want to be able to compare first impressions of the sheer text to a medical grade uh, tight so give me two seconds and i will try these on so before i try them on i wanted to give a quick just um overview of the packaging and the brand so the brand of the medical tights i'm going to be trying on today are the salvaire medical women's simply sheer pantyhose in the color natural and they are they're simply shears and i have a few others i have an opaque pair and also navy pair but just for the sake of consistency, everything in this video is a sheer nude. Also, just a quick mention that it's when you're flying, if you're a flight attendant watching this video, um, you should try to wear compressive um, stockings just because it helps prevent varicose veins. It helps relieve the achy feeling in your legs. And overall, it's just better for your circulation, um, especially when you're going to be in this career and in the sky at altitude for very long periods of time for many, many years. So quick side note there that definitely try them out. 
Um, okay, so coming out of the package, this is what they look like. And these are in the size large. My sizing is pretty consistently large across most brands. And let's see if we can open this up here. I have to just break the seal here. I'm curious on the feel and the texture. Okay, so this is what they look like. Look how small the waistband is compared to the sheer text. The waistband on sheer text was very, very tall. So this is gonna be interesting. It looks like just a smaller amount of space, but look at the design. Similar to the sheer text, these tights have similar construction. These tights have a smell to them. That's kind of weird. Um, okay, but these are the length of them. They feel different. They definitely feel like they're gonna be compressive. And it's just a quick little stretch test. I'm gonna try these on real quick and you'll see it right here what it looks like. You guys, I just put on, this took me at least three minutes to put these medical grade compression tights on. Holy cow, they are so tight. Like, wow, that compression is no joke. Like, yes, it's the first time putting on tights, but my God, like my, <laughs> my thighs were like, we're not gonna fit in here. Like, oh, are you sure about this? And I'm like, I don't know, but we gotta do it for the video. Anyways, the color match is really, really good. For me, these are size large and they feel really tight. But I will say once I finally got them on, like my legs do feel compressed like sausages. However, I felt like just doing that little quick little like try on little posy video right here. I genuinely feel like I walk faster with these tights. <laughs> they are extremely tight and I hope they don't ever take this long to put on now that I've put them on once. Um, so that'll be a mental note for me going forward. But oh my gosh, they are so tight. So they are definitely not easy to get on, but once they are on, like they don't feel crazy compressive in my waist, like my dance tights. So that's interesting. But anyway, so now for part three, we are doing a wear test. So as I mentioned earlier, spoiler alert, I did my three day wear test on the super sheer, sheer text tights. And while they are durable and they are rip resistant, I still have a few pulls and little like micro runs in them. The runs haven't spread, but I'm just really curious and I'll have to do a follow-up video as to how long a single pair of these last for me when I'm flying and to see how many trips I can get out of them and how many months of flying I can get out of a $100 pair of tights. And if you wanna know, it was a three-day trip to uh, Seattle JFK, JFK back to Seattle for, it was a three-day and so that was probably 12 hours of flying time altogether, like duty day start to end each each of the three days. So so this just about wraps, wraps up this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I did do a three day wear test of the super sheer, sheer text tights. And I think at the end of the day, I will say, do I think they're high quality tights? Yes, but do I think they're worth a hundred dollars? No. and. I don't personally have the budget to be spending hundreds of dollars on pairs of tights that I can easily go through new pairs of tights every one to two months just with how much I wear them and how like how much how I don't know how much I move in my job in tight quarters and sharp objects and things like that like I just go through tights so quickly that for me I will enjoy wearing them these were an amazing gift but i just cannot believe that they're a hundred dollars right now if they were i thought at one point they were 35 dollars. am i wrong did anyone see them for 35 at some point because if they were 35 dollar tights then yeah i'd be i'd be like two thumbs up the hundred dollars sorry no not for me um so for now i'm gonna add them to my collection of tights now you guys know my favorites and now I'll be wearing full length compression tights just to keep my legs healthy. Um, but I will leave the other tights I mentioned down below as well as the sheer text tights. And that's gonna conclude it for today's video. It was so exciting to film this. I was excited to have um, some very niche like flight attendant specific content out there to really put sheer text to the test. And I did. I hope you take my advice, take it from a flight attendant. We know our tights, we wear them every day. 
Um, I hope this video was helpful and gave you some solid advice. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you have questions on sheer text, I'll try to answer them. As well as if you have um, questions on just like compress compressive garments, compressive tights, compressive stockings, things like that, um, I can be your go-to and recommend some other brands down below. So I hope you're having a great day wherever you are, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.